Start at 6.30 and bend at 8.30. So what you do, you put a line and then you put the timer above it and then you put what you're doing at that time underneath like 6.40, get dressed, 7, eat breakfast, 7.40, watch TV and then on and on and on and yeah, that's pretty much what you do. You have to draw some very straight line. As you can see, I'm the world's best draw, straight line drawer and yeah. A very Bye. straight line. What else could you measure on a timeline like this? Oh, you can um, do like jump strategy, but you do jumps yes, like that. Yes, you would do it as a number line. But number what about like time? What other types of time could we measure with a timeline like that? Um, you can measure times when like things are going to arrive, like bus tables, yep. train tables. Yep. And yeah. And what about like, longer periods of time? Well, then you like just, years. Well then you do Could you use longer. one of these? Yes. Yes, you, you just make it longer. Different times. And the slots, time. and what would you do with the time slots? Then you would um like you would probably usually put in like month, the day and the month, not Good. really the hour. Yep, so you'll put the day or the month or the year. Thank you. Hey girls, so what have we got over here? Um we've got a timetable right. of um the week. Good, the week. And that's where we put the times that we do everything. Good. And then we do the activities that we do. Okay, good. So explain to me how you might adjust adjust your table if something goes for a longer time than the activity did the day before. What would you do? Um, you can rub out a line and make good. it bigger. So you make that time slot bigger? Yeah. What about if it's a shorter time? Um, Excellent. You put in another line. Yep. Yeah. Good. Thanks, girls. Bye. Um, my, my time table. Yes. As you can see, it's like um, for every school day. Good. Um, I wake up at 7 a.m. I have I have breakfast, which takes me 15 minutes. Good, and I like that you've got a column on the side there that tells us how long each thing, each activity takes, because you could you could use that if you were running late or something. You could figure out what took too long. Yeah. Yes. Good. So, what other sorts of things have you got on there? Uh, I've got brush my teeth, mm -hmm. get dressed, make my bed, pack bag, then I do my hair, I get in the car, Good. go, go to school, Good. Uh, I come home, I unpack my bag, change into, change into to everyday clothes, then, then I do my homework. Good. I, then after my homework, I play some games. Mm -hmm. Then I have dinner. Then I brush my teeth after dinner. Good. Then I watch TV for a bit before I go to bed. Good. What's the What's the shortest thing in your day? What takes the less the least amount of time? Um, that would be waking up and going to bed. Good, waking up and going to bed because you just have to hop out of bed and hop back in again. Yeah. Okay, what takes the longest? Longest. School. School. School takes up the most most of your time. Yes. Good, thank you. This is my timeline on Saturdays. So um, what I do is I draw a straight iron and then I put lines across the side and I, you can either do your time on this side or that side. And what I do is I write down everything that I do and as you can see there's a much bigger gap here than what there is in between all the other ones. That's because that there's about a two, like a two and a half hour gap between these two. Good, so you've made your spaces 
wider and thinner depending on how long the activity takes. Yes? Anything else you'd like to share with us, Matilda? Um, I'd like to also say about you can, and like, say, you don't just have to do it by putting the time on one side. If you like it by going, okay, I'll put the time over here and then I'll put everything on the other side, you can do that. Good, good, excellent. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Bye.